now. From now, so that we move in a okay, rational ma manner. Madam Speaker, the standing order provides that every member shall be responsible for a statement of fact. That's standing order 67. Thank you. That's good. So, so, and I know the standing orders. Yes. Madam Speaker, I want to say the following. Yeah. First of all, it's unfortunate for colleagues. If you make such a grave, you know, allegation on a member, one of you, it becomes a laughing matter. Madam Speaker, I put it in public record. On Friday, I was being trailed by police officers, DCI, KBZ 317W. And I saw them, and they left. I raised it with the Inspector General of Police. He did not respond. Madam Speaker, yesterday, and I, let me not even talk about the other incident. Yesterday, there were reports of my impending arrest so that I'm not here today. Madam Speaker, I heard that members in this house know. Some of you know it. Some of you are discussing it. Madam Speaker, I didn't even stay at my own home. I was in this Senate at 5.30 a.m. today. I sat in my car in the basement until midday. That is not a laughing matter, Senator Cherege. Madam Speaker, everybody here knows the kind of vitriol. Let me finish, Madam Speaker, because it's very, very hurting. Yeah, I, the I'm, kind of I'm, having, a, I'm only having one problem, Senator Sakaja. I wish you came with a statement. Let me, let me finish. I will bring a statement. Yes. Just because, allow me to finish, because, Madam Speaker. If it happened, I'm, if it happened to you, I'm you'd be allowed to say it. I'm saying, while well, I'm going to allow you to conclude, I'm telling you that you had a very nice opportunity to make a very nice statement. Madam Speaker, Senator when your life is threatened, you don't think of standing orders. I will, I will, I will I, you, you don't sit and plan. Okay. Madam Speaker, this, this is not a small matter. Okay. They were staking out of my house yesterday, the, the day before yesterday, I saw them. But Madam Speaker, the reason I didn't speak about it is because I knew the objective, and some of you are strategizing might know, was for me not to come to the house. The person who votes after me in my delegation was told not to come, so that the vote will go one or another. Let me not speculate on that. Now that I have come and I voted, those who want to arrest me, please go ahead, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, you have seen the vitriol, you have seen those banners being put up there for me to change my position. I am not one to, me, to be intimidated. I'm the son of Emily Ayoti Kubasu, a champion. I will not be intimidated. I stand for one Kenya. And finally, Madam Speaker, finally, because we've had people saying, oh, we'll expel you from the party, we will do this. I am persuading Senator Pogisho, the leader of majority, who I respect a lot, and the, and the whip, Senator Kangata. You're the leaders. A party position is not an individual's opinion. A party position is not even your opinion. A party position is when you call your members, you caucus, you, decide, you discuss an issue, you agree to disagree, but that agreement that is reached is binding. I've been a chairman of a party, I know that's what a party position is. But for those who think even you can do 10 more hashtags, it is okay. In fact, is that I help them, tweet them. You can even, now you can send, because you're not voting, it's okay. I was born in this town in Gara, I'm used to this life. I can stay in cells, but I will stand for one Kenya. And the party position that I know, the party position that I know of Jubilee is the position of one Kenya indivisible. I stand for that, Madam Speaker. So I'm glad, Madam Speaker, that now we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity, Madam Speaker, to look at the proposals which, which I had brought, the proposal which I've heard Senator Midika talking about, Senator Omatangi, we can harmonize, but this country will move forward together. But those threats, Madam Speaker, they mean nothing, and I'm ready for whatever consequence it is for the price of this country. People have lost more. They have lost lives, not just party positions.